Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome from your sister, Yesenia Verde, to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come unto you asking you for the forgiveness of my sins, so that this prayer is received in your throne. Please forgive our sins and hear our prayers, Lord. I come before you with the heart of gratitude. Thank you for the precious gift of life, for every breath I take, and for the opportunity to experience your love and presence. Thank you for all the blessings in our lives and also for all these beautiful devotionals that help our spiritual life. Thank you for the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, the promise of eternal life and the hope of heaven. Give us the strength and courage to face each new day. Help us recognize your goodness and provision in every aspect of our lives and put our trust in you. Let us share your love and kindness with others and help us to spread your word and to be a blessing to others. All these things I ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The devotion for today is titled, God Sees Us. It was written by Mirta Almeida, translated by Nelson Baires, taken from the book Mesa de Fe. The biblical base is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. So says the word of God. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. May we be blessed by the reading of his word. What a pleasant feeling of relief is generated in the soul when in the midst of turmoil that brings us the problems that often we have to face and no one sees to understand. We realize that our loving Heavenly Father can give us the solution as the Holy Apostle tells us. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So let's not look for encouragement or help from others because of the jobs we do for which no one showed us gratitude or tried to encourage us with a pat in the back. If we have made them with love and goodwill, they will never go unnoticed by our Creator, who in His time will pour out its blessings upon us in abundance. In every difficulty, when we pass through the dark of valleys of darkness and pain, whether physical or moral, let them not trouble us in such a way that we forget that Jesus, the Holy Son of God, carried on the rough, rough wood our pains and he suffered so that we might be healed by his wounds. We are not alone. Let us cry out with our souls that God sees us. And for that is why our work in the Lord will never be in vain. Amen. Began a good work in you. He who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. He'll be faithful to complete it. He who started the work will be faithful to complete it in you if the struggle you're facing is slowly replacing your hope with despair or the process is long and you're losing your song in the night You can be sure that the Lord has His hand on you Safe and safe 
secure. He will never abandon you. You are his treasure, and he finds his pleasure in you. Working for the Lord is not in vain because every effort, every sacrifice, and every act of obedience is valued and rewarded by God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, the Bible assures us, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Whether we are serving in our local churches, sharing the gospel with others, or simply living our faith in our daily lives, we can trust that God sees and honors our dedication. Our work for the Lord may not always yield immediate results or human recognition, but we can rest assured that it has eternal significance and will ultimately bring glory to God. So let us persevere, motivated by Christ's love and empowered by his strength, knowing that our labor in the Lord will reap a harvest of blessings and joy both now and forevermore. Amen. Before finalizing this session, I invite you to visit our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry for a Daily Bible Reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all his children now and forever. Amen. Have a beautiful and blessed day.